What's going on everybody? This is Kurt Rice at Kurt Rice Baseball. How is everybody doing this fine Tuesday afternoon about 12 35 p.m. here? Just rolled into the afternoon so I hope everybody's doing well. Um, a real quick video review on a glove that my wonderful wife got me and um, was so nice of her to do this. I've been looking for one of these for a while and the reason being is is um, we have a, or not we, but uh, I'm catching a little leaguer, uh, not really a little leaguer, he's about 13, 14 years old, and he has a knuckleball, and that thing moves every which way, but, you know, <laughs> you know, pretty much every which way, no rotation on these things, so if you've ever, if you've never seen it, check out the, uh, if you have Amazon Prime or, or uh, have access to Amazon go on there and and watch this called knuckleball and just watch these guys it's just amazing how this pitch works but um, you can watch it free on Amazon Prime if you have Amazon Prime or you can buy the DVD out uh, wife bought me the DVD for like $7.99 free shipping from Amazon it was here the next day so it's pretty awesome so just to give you a heads up of what a knuckleballer throws and how he throws it. Uh, I believe R.A. Dickey and Tim Wakefield was the last two that I've seen in the majors that had knuckleball. Of course, Tim Wakefield, he played, I think he was all the way up in like 44 or 45, maybe a little bit older, but I can't remember. But um, how they throw this pitch, some of them, most, I think R.A. Dickey, the way he was taught was to dig his fingernails in the horseshoe this is the runway of the baseball the horseshoe of the baseball right here and he was always taught to they don't throw with the knuckles they don't throw like this they throw with their fingernails dug into the ball and then it and they believe they push it out and it has no rotation to it which i'm not a pitcher so i wouldn't know exactly how to throw it but they throw it like this and then you know they push the ball out but you'll be able to see it on knuckleball the D the dvd or watch it on amazon prime video but that's the size of the point so anyway we have a knuckleballer that i'm trying to um catch and i have a 35 inch bt and it's not working so my wonderful wife was just we was digging around couldn't find nothing couldn't find nothing and one day she was like Hey, something came in the mail for you. I can't wait for you to get it, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay. Well, here it is, folks. It was the about the only, I believe, knuckleball mitt that anybody ever made. And there it is right there. This is a CM3000KM knuckleball mitt right here. This thing is huge. <laughs> As you can see how big this thing is. It's 35 inches. This is a bigger than a BT because of the web. It got that... that uh, basket web in there see they don't have the traditional two-piece webbing in there see it just relaces from there to there which is kind of cool but there it is professional uh, model there's the thumb loops and I put a wrist guard on it and all-star all-star I believe was the only one that made it I found a few other guys that made some but they had discontinued um, they had discontinued them because I guess maybe there's not many knuckleballers out there. But anyway, um, this is for uh, a review on it. Uh, the the review that I have, it's very, very good quality knuckleballer mint. I found she found this on eBay for me, and we've been looking forever, probably probably six seven months, and then finally when I she typed it in, uh, all-star catcher's mitt, there it was. She, she said, uh, she knew exactly which, which one I've been looking for because she had the picture. So here it is, folks. This is a knuckleball catcher's mitt. And the guy on eBay, I looked it up after I got this, and the guy on eBay has one left, and this is a rare must, a rare mitt right here because you can't find these things anywhere. So, and I put my put the uh, wrist guard on there because I'm definitely gonna need it catching this kid because the ball moves all around I mean I've 
I've missed a few. I've had a few hit me in the mask. Okay. <laughs> but this kid is something else with his knuckleball, and hopefully it works out for him. But uh, I want, like I said, it's just a quick review on a knuckleball mitt. And um, it is the Professional Series CM3000KM. The leather on it is pretty much uh, just about the same as a SBT or a uh, BT. Uh, it's got that black tan leather. Um, I don't know if they may, I think they may, may have made these in black, but I can't remember. Um, but, um, it's just, it's good. It's just going to have your little, um, your little wrist strap right here with which wearing this with it and having this on, um, uh, you know, that's all you need. It's just a, a plastic buckle, which your expensive ones have the metal buckle. And, uh, I think this one, she bought this one for a hundred and hundred and seventy dollars. I believe on eBay where the guys got one more left. So if you need a knuckleball mint, a guy on eBay has got one, but there it is. That's is a knuckleball catcher's mint and all-star made these for a little while. And I think, I think that was it. So, um, and I'll give y'all, I'll follow up on the review on it. Um, you know, to see how it's working out, you know, stuff like that. So, um, anyway, check out that, that, uh, that documentary, um, knuckleball, um, hopefully I have good success with this, but and I have it looks like quarter inch lace instead of three sixteenths But yeah, it's pretty thick lace because with catching a knuckleball pitcher, you're gonna need uh, Pretty thick lace because these mitt this mitts gonna take a beating <laughs> so but um Anyway, uh, there it is. There's the backing of it the basket web professional model, of course and uh, if anybody has any questions about it, let me know. Um, like I said, I'll be doing a another review probably in a couple weeks on how it's holding up and stuff. So it's a good quality mint. It's got that, like I said, it's got the, the little thumb, thumb pad or the finger index pad, which I just hold it over it like this, just for the simple fact that I like extra protection on my finger. But it has everything that you need for a knuckleballer, a, uh, a knuckleball catcher like that everything that basically the catchers say the same thing everything that you uh know about catching and uh stuff like that uh goes out the window when you're catching knuckleball pitcher because these knuckleballs just move all over the place and i hope i'm able to um catch a few <laughs> with this right here so uh, if anybody has any questions let me know this is kurt rice at kurt rice baseball y'all have a blessed day